What's up guys? Uh, just coming here to talk about my one year review of this DR920. This is a Shadow Systems, DR meaning the duty roll, um, uh, 920. Uh, they're, they're basically their Glock 17, um, their version of the Glock 17. They have a MR920, which is their compact. Um, and I've had this gun now for one year. This gun, let me just start off by saying is absolutely fantastic. This thing shoots great, um, super reliable. I've had zero issues with reliability. There was a, um, I did have one, um, the round was feeding and it sheared off the casing, kind of sheared off uh, part of the casing as it was uh, feeding into the, into the uh, feed round and uh, have not had any issues before that. Hadn't had any issues since. Um, I ended up uh, using some flits and just kind of polishing the inside of that feed ramp and have not had an issue since. Um, and and the, the round seated, uh, but that is the only issue I have had since I owned this. Didn't have any issues within their 200, 250 round break-in period. I've had zero issues with this gun. 100% reliable. I've, uh, in the year that I've owned it, just short of a year, uh, the end of this month will be a year. Um, I've shot 4,200 rounds as of, as of yesterday. This gun has been 100% reliable. I've had zero issues with reliability. The nice thing when you get this gun, um, Shadow Systems is an American uh, manufacturer. They are out of Texas. And um, uh, when I got this gun, I was had taken it apart was putting it, I think the first time I cleaned it was putting it back and I hit the um, slide stop with, I'd hit, was I was pushing the pin in, I'd hit the um, spring, dented it up, uh, uh, wouldn't see it correctly. And so I contacted them. They sent me a new one within, I think it was like three or four days. Okay. So when you go with this company, uh, one thing that you are uh, insured when you buy this gun is that you're going to have a company with fantastic customer service. They're quick, they're on the ball. And two, the beautiful thing about this gun is that there are a bunch of shooters. Um, I'm not familiar, I don't know if you're familiar with, they have a uh, YouTube channel and you can contact them through the YouTube channel as well. But um, they, uh, the, the owner uh, talks about a lot of the different functions of the guns and um, has a, a really good YouTube channel. Um, so with this gun, uh, the texture, I have a, um, it's not a Talon's grip, it's another one. Talon, Talon's grip does not make a grip for this one. They do for the MR920. Um, this is a, a rubber one. I usually put Talon grips on all my guns. This one has a nice stipple already. Um, and this this uh, back, you can see. Um, very aggressive. Uh, I, I like some a little bit more aggressive. Uh, Talon's grip does not make one. The sandpaper is my favorite. Um, all my guns have that on them or, or a stipple job. Um, so I was trying this one out to see what I thought about the rubber. I've had this for about two months. Um, going on probably put about 500 rounds to it and I, I don't dislike it but I don't like it as much as a, a, an aggressive I'm probably gonna end up taking it off and just using the factory one is aggressive enough um, but a fantastic trigger 100% reliable um, one thing that I love about this and what was the deciding factor I usually uh, before this I, I've carried Glock 17 Gen 3 Glock 17 and um, went moved to a Glock 19 and uh, decided I wanted something larger because of my, my large hands. Uh, my finger uh, hangs off on the Glock 19. My thumb kind of dangles. It hits the magazine, but of course that causes pinching and that sort of thing. So um, something that I could shoot more, I, I can seal this gun as good as a, a concealed Glock 19. But the beautiful thing is that you get three back straps. One of the back straps, one's uh, uh, more of a neutral, They've got a, a 1911, and then you get the Glock back strap. So if you've shot Glocks like I have my whole life, um, you get that Glock angle, and that was just absolutely important for me, um, was the deciding factor why I went with this gun. They have a propri proprietary um, mounting system that uses very long screws. I've, I have uh, have had this mounted. I've mounted this particular optic twice now. When I got it, and then I cleaned out the slide, and then I took it apart, and then remounted it. I've had zero issues. There is a shim right here in the back. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that. 
uh, so you mount the optic. It, uh, the shim goes on here, and then when you screw it down, it, it presses in real tight. It is it is fantastic mounting system. I've had zero issues with it. Um, the gun shoots incredibly flat. I knew that I'd already shot the the, the MR920. Um, and if I didn't ha already have two Glock 19s, I would be shooting. I would I would probably also have the MR920. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than your standard Glocks, of course, with the with the uh, extras that this gun comes with, more than more than worth the extra money. But um, uh, I'd shot the MR920, so I knew it shot flat. Um, and of course, you throw a light on there; it's going to shoot incredibly flat. But this gun is just my absolute favorite gun that I own. It shoots the flattest. I carry, this is my everyday carry. I carry this gun. Wasn't carrying it 365 days a year. Um, after having run this gun for a year now, I've gotten to where I just don't carry my Glock 19s anymore. I've got a Gen 3 and a Gen 5, um, both with uh, 507Cs uh, on them, and I, I just don't carry them anymore. This gun conceals just as well, um, on me at least. It conceals just as well, and this gun um, is just as reliable. So this is my EDC for the past six months. This is what I've carried. Um, trigger's fantastic. Uh, gun's fantastic. I have had just, uh, the, this pin back here seems to want to walk occasionally. I shoot and dry fire very often. Let me see if I can get that. I've pushed it back in, uh, today. I noticed I was shooting yesterday and I've pushed it back in, but it does tend to want to walk. So I have to keep an eye on that. That's, um, I've got this because it is a Glock platform. It is compatible with the um, OEM Glock parts. So I did install an OEM extended Glock side, slide release. Um, otherwise, it is factory the way it came from Shadow Systems. Um, just a fantastic gun. If you have any questions or if you are wanting to talk Shadow Systems, feel free to comment below. Thank you.